Hey guys! In this video I'm going to talk about highly sensitive people, Blu-rays, empaths, all of the above um, and how to stay connected and grounded in your being. Okay, so I've been doing a great deal of thinking, you know, I spend quite a bit of time online and I read things and look at things and also look at my own journey. So the lesson from my own journey was many, many years ago when I was a lot younger and very excited about this whole spiritual thing and... What I basically did was I spent a lot of time in meditation. I spent a lot of time disconnecting from my being, my physical being and my emotions and connecting with the higher realms, which was very exciting and a huge amount of fun. But <laughs> the problem was my body got ill. It got sick and <laughs> I didn't know what was going on because I was eating healthy. I was actually taking care of myself, but my body just somehow just wasn't functioning properly. I was tired. I had a lot of pain in my neck and things like that. So I actually went to see a healer in Blenheim at the time. I was living in the Marlborough Sounds at that point. And he pointed out a good fact to me that actually quite a few people, when they really get enthused about the spiritual path, they disconnect from their physical being and can end up quite unwell because you know you need energy in your being as well it's not just food and water and air and it's, it's also all those energetic flows need to be happening and if, if you're not connected in your being and your body that can't work properly and the body kind of feels a bit neglected and left out because we're always out there somewhere so it was a pretty big lesson for me it took me some time to learn how to um you know connect again and another magical person these people they keep turning up at wonderful points in time to um, show me things and he was uh, at a big festival in Christchurch called Convergence in the year 2000 he was a teacher of yoga and he um, said something to me when we were just outside chatting I don't actually practice yoga but I went to some of his workshops um, and he said to me you know everybody has to be fully human before they can actually be spiritual and that once again was another pointer sort of to connect me to that and go hang on a minute <laughs> yeah maybe I am kind of wafting off a bit much and connecting to those other realms rather than being here and now and all our spiritual teachers have always said be here now and that is really the secret because during one of my most powerful spiritual times in my life which was straight after a very very painful episode when a relationship ended and I actually just had enough and I sat on the beach in my mobile home and I felt awful and I just sat with it and I just sat with it and I just stayed present with the feeling and I just acknowledged it and I refused to judge it or analyze it I just experienced it purely as it was and after about two days of this, and yes, it was horrendous, all of a sudden I was just completely present. Like everything was beauty, everything was perfect. I saw the perfection and even the bad things that had happened and was kind of one with everything. Um, it was quite an interesting experience. That I was in that state for a couple of weeks, I think. Very, very... Um, aware of everything and very at peace with everything and still functioning and doing what I needed to but there was a little voice in my head that kept saying oh gosh you can't keep wandering around like this you know you're not going to get stuff done so <laughs> um but it was an interesting experience of what actually being completely present will bring into your awareness and we are here to do that um we aren't here to waft out of this dimension we're here to embody it to bring that energy into this dimension into our being into our body and to use it in life 
that's why we're living. We're not living to some punishment or something awful. We're here to actually change living into something quite marvellous. So, and I do get a little bit concerned because a lot of people get really fascinated by the whole spiritual realm. And yes, it's wonderful. It's beautiful to connect with. There's some great wisdom there. But from what I'm getting from my guides, they're saying, look, you, yeah, we're not here to hold your hand. We're here to empower you to fully do what you need to do. We're not here to do it for you. And, but we will give you some pointers along the way. <laughs> so yeah, the time for full embodiment of our spiritual selves into our physical and our emotional selves is just so crucial at the moment. And our emotional self is quite often a part that we struggle with because we've been taught certain emotions are okay other emotions are not okay <laughs> like anger um anger is just a feeling how you express it you know walking down the road and hitting somebody in the nose no that's not really a wonderful expression of anger but if somebody's pushing your buttons continuously it's actually okay to say hey enough i'm actually getting quite angry and I'm not enjoying this, so I'm going to go. Bye. It's fine to do that. Um, it's part of taking care of yourself, but also acknowledging what you feel. Because when we disacknowledge and refuse to experience certain emotions and certain feelings, um, we actually kind of split ourselves apart. It's like, you know, oh, I like that part of me, but I don't like that part of me. So, you know, you're creating an inner war. Whereas actually just embracing it, experiencing it, if you're feeling really um, tense or angry or stressed or whatever, it's not about fighting that, it's about just going, okay, I experience that, I feel that, that's how it is. Don't label it, don't overanalyze it, just sit with the pure, raw feeling and let it be and it will actually pass. And the more you do that, the more it will pass. It's actually really really good way of dealing with it sometimes it can be overwhelming you know if you've had serious trauma and serious abuse or something like that it's probably better to do that with a therapist or somebody who can hold space for you be there for you or a really good healer who's aware of emotions and, and the power of them so yeah but it's just so important not to escape all that stuff by <clears throat> spiritualizing yourself out of your being because that doesn't go anywhere um yeah if you want to be fully integrated as a human being yeah your spiritual being will have more say than other aspects of your being but like your emotions and a wonderful gps if something feels off or wrong it's your being actually taking over and saying hang on warning pay attention is this safe is this good um so that's very very powerful you know um our thoughts you know they're tools we do need this thing otherwise we'd have a hard time functioning in life um but you know if we're thinking the same thoughts over and over and over and over again and they're not serving us and they're destructive or negative or critical um then it's time to take charge a little bit and start restructuring that and that doesn't mean once again that you fight that you actually just counter it if you have a thought that says oh god i'm so stupid what did i do that for then counter it with something nice and loving and caring like saying you're okay you know you're doing this you're growing you're learning you're doing fine it's okay so just counter it don't fight it just counter it and you know give your subconscious something a little bit more positive to deal with so yeah this is turning into quite a ramble but it's something I feel quite strong about because you know there's no nothing out there that's going to do it for us um, nobody's coming to take us away <laughs> from this world it's about us bringing our consciousness our spirituality our wisdom our silliness our feelings all of it into our being and becoming whole integrating 
integrating all of it to make it work for you so yeah those have just been my thoughts over the last few days um, and these are relevant to anybody who has strong feelings whatever walk of life or light ray or whatever you're from um, that's not so important labels aren't as important in this matter but acknowledging your feelings and backing yourself up and allowing yourself to experience them and express them and if you can't talk to anyone write them out writing's good too so anyway lots of love and i'll see you all in my next video